Hello everyone, my name is Babarisa Olaiwala. I'm here to make mathematics understandable as possible. Today's video is on history of a matrix. The web matrix was not coined for over four millennia, yet the history of matrices goes back to ancient times. Evidence in the history of mathematics revealed that the existence of magic squares about 4,000 years ago had perhaps served as the origin of discovery of matrices. Magic squares, not Sagrada Familia Magic Square or Paka Square, are considered to be esoteric in the ancient times of India, China, and Japan. The origin of mathematical matrices lies with the study of systems of simultaneous linear equations which can be traced to Babylon and were recorded in a tablet dating 300 BC. Chinese came much closer to matrices method to solve simultaneous linear equations than the Babylonians through Han Dynasty which is documented in nine chapters of the mathematical arts Chapter 8 of the book was dedicated to Fan Sheng, which is popularly known as Matrix. In 1850, an English mathematician, James Sylvester, coined the term matrix. Matrix is a Latin word for womb, derived from matter, mother, which is defined as an oblong arrangement of terms. He coined the word womb to treat a matrix as a generator of determinants. In 1841, British mathematician Otto Kelly Use the letter A, the uppercase to represent matrix and lowercase to represent its element. He discovered that there is a relationship between matrices and linear transformations. He gave matrix algebra defining addition, multiplication, scalar multiplication, and inverse. He also discovered geometric transformation with abstract matrix operations. The problem with Kali's writing is that he did not have a fixed notation for matrices. Kali developed matrix algebra alongside some matrix terminologies and introduced two vertical lines for a determinant on the side of the array. He used zero for the zero matrix and one for identity matrix. In 1844, Amagonta, a Germany mathematician, introduced the product of a row matrix and a column matrix. Almost a century apart, an American mathematician, Joseph Gibbs, published a treatise on vector analysis to represent general matrix called dyadic. Vector analysis got more improvement when an English physicist, Paul Dirac, introduced the term bra vector and ket vector. The result from scalar multiplication of bracket or ket bra form a simple matrix and is successfully hinted that there is a close relationship between matrices and linear transformations. McDuffie and Wedderburn used double vertical lines for matrices in their leading English books on matrices. These lines are now recommended for matrix norms. A British mathematician, Edmund Collins, was the first to use modern bracket or parentheses notation for matrices. Nowadays, an asterisk is used to denote whole rows or columns in a matrix. Jan de Witt, a Dutch mathematician, never thought of the term symmetric matrix in his book, but showed how to transform given equation for a conic to canonical form in arrays. Later, a German mathematician, David Hilbert, coined the Latin word spectrum for the set of eigenvalues or the latent roots of a matrix or operator. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix are important aspects of engineering. Ferdinand George Frobenius, a German mathematician, proved the Kali Arnentin theorem. He then introduced the concept of the rank of a matrix from the result of Jordan canonical and orthogonal matrices. He did not use the term matrix. His paper deals with the coefficients of forms and on bilinear forms. Hawkins and Wells discussed the trace of a matrix equals the sum of its eigenvalues and the product of the eigenvalues is equal to the determinant of the matrix. A German mathematician, Ferdinand Gotthold Marx, showed the matrix products are non-commutative 
which confirm to be non-abelian and introduce the algebraic notation for product inverse and powers of linear substitutions. Richard Dittkind, a German mathematician, in his study of algebraic numbers, first discovered a set of n by n square matrices form an abstract mathematical system called a ring. Do you know that some authors consider that the Gaussian elimination already known to a Chinese mathematician, Shang, around 200 to 360 AD. Alan Turing introduced the AU decomposition of a matrix. Rojan Peros developed the theory of generalized inverse matrices. Now, Russell and Whitehead in 1913 proposed the context of the axioms of reducibility for matrices. Therefore, the notion of the truth table in mathematical logic in connection with matrices was established. Applications of matrices. One of the great qualities of a matrix is the ability to create code in a situation where you need to send a private message to an ally. Retrospectively, the concept of matrix materialization was back to Julius Caesar in 49 BC. In the early 20th century, militaries of the world began to take advantage of the great ability of the matrix to create code in Enigma machine during World War I. Nowadays, not only militaries of the world cannot survive without the application of matrices, but also individuals and groups for handling large amounts of data will depend on matrices in designing computer game graphics, space communication, facial recognition, page rank algorithm, analyzing relation, choreographers' dance steps, network analysis, sound analysis, F and safety, quantum theory, seismic survey, chemical analysis, population growth, robotic and automation, cyberspace internet, Markov chain. If you like this video, please click on the like and subscribe button for more videos. And don't forget to drop your comment below.